everybody, and greetings from Assam, India. Right now I'm in Guwahati, which is a major city in the very northeastern chunk of India. You may hear car horns honking. I'm not even, my, I don't have a window <laughs> that's through a wall on the other side of this building. People like to honk their horns here. Also, you might hear a lot of people talking in the hallway. I apologize. Can't do anything about it. India is a special place, and you can't pretend that it isn't hectic. <laughs> so you're going to probably, like, through the next few videos, get a little taste of that as I go along. I chose to go to the northeast because around here, there, it's got a different kind of temperature to it. Okay, It's like kind of like tropical, I guess, but it's also very humid. So a lot of things grow here that don't grow elsewhere. So it's got a few like very unique things that are part of the cuisine here. And some interesting fruits pop up. So uh, I went to the market today and I found a whole bunch of stuff. And the first thing that I want to talk about is this guy here. Check that out. It kind of looks like a little tomato. The exterior of it is got like these kind of like little speckles to it. They're like little silver uh, metallic looking speckles, which is kind of interesting. I believe it's called Indian olives is one word for it. Also known as bastard oleaster. That's a pretty cool name. Um, it's very, if you've seen something like this before, you may live in, uh, I think it's like the northeast of America, where we have something called autumn olives. They look kind of like this, but they're a lot smaller. They're both uh, of the same genus, but different species. I've actually never had the autumn olives before, even though they're something that grow like in Central Park, I think, in New York City. Uh, I haven't come across them yet, so it's something I've been wanting to try. So, kind of funny that this is something I've never heard of before, but it's a relative. I'm going to end up trying this first. The problem with food in India is you can't eat fresh food because it makes you sick if you're not accustomed to it. So, uh, and you can't drink water. So it's been kind of like... Uh, a challenge getting through day by day making sure that you don't like drink juice with an ice cube in it that was made from tap water or you don't like get food that someone put like a fresh ingredient in it like sometimes they'll give you a curry and then put like some fresh herbs on top those herbs will mess you up so I can't uh, I, I, I can't just like bite into this thing uh, I'm gonna have to disinfect this this is something I've never done before. You know, in the past when I was in India, what I would do is I would take a knife and I'd peel all my fruit, even if it's something that you normally wouldn't peel, like an apple or something like that. Like, you have to do that. These, I think, will be kind of tricky to peel, and that might end up losing some of what makes it special. I'm going to take a few of these fruits. I also have uh, some bear fruit in there. Spoiler for next week's episode. And I'm going to put, uh, I already washed these in the tap water, which you can't drink. And uh, I'm going to fill this with regular bottled water. Oh, I'm making a terrible mess. Okay, so got that in there. And next you have to take a disinfectant and put it in there to kill some of the bacteria. Now this is not gonna kill everything unfortunately but it does kill um, a lot of the baddies that could be on fruit I've got uh, hydrogen peroxide so I'm gonna take a few, a few squirts and put that in there I'm guessing that's probably alright but you know what just to be safe can't be too safe I, I mean you can put hydrogen peroxide in your mouth and stuff it's gonna be alright it's not going to kill me. I just don't want to affect the taste too much. But, uh, yeah, it should be alright. I'm going to let this now sit for, I don't know, I've seen people say 30 minutes. I've also seen people say uh, 60 minutes. So I'm going to kind of like set it and forget it and come back to it and we'll see how long it takes. Let's do it. Let's go nuts. Let's eat a fruit with the peel on it. Hardcore. Um, yeah, so I took it out. I also rinsed it with bottled water just to uh, get the hydrogen peroxide taste off of it. Oh my.
that is sour. Also, kind of astringent. It tastes like... It tastes pretty good. Um, a little bit like Amla, which I reviewed in the past, which tastes, you know, kind of sour, kind of green. Amla is also a, an Indian fruit, very popular in India, so I can see why this would be popular. It's got like a little bit of a tomato-y kind of flavor to it, but not in like a negative way, in a way that's more fruity. You know, not in a, it doesn't taste like savory like tomatoes do. You know, tomato has got like a little bit of a bite to it, or maybe like a green tomato. It's kind of like that kind of tartness is in here, if that makes any sense. Um, I do hear that these have a lot of lycopene in them, which is, you know, in tomatoes, a compound that's in tomatoes, so that kind of makes sense a little bit. It's a little bit sweet, maybe not like a, like a 2 or 3 out of 10, but it is quite sour. Not unbearable. Uh, if it tends to lemon, this is maybe, I don't know, 7? You know, it's definitely, but it's like a different kind of sourness. You know, it's not like citrus. It's it's kind of like a little bit, it's got a little bit more going on to it. Maybe a little bit like cranberries. Um, and a little bit like a sour plum. And the guy who sold this to me said that I should be eating it with salt. So uh, I, bought, I bought some salt. The one really annoying thing is that... Uh, I was scouring the streets trying to find salt, and this is all I found. So I got a big freaking thing of salt, which um, I don't know really what to do about that. I think I'm going to take some of it and leave the rest of it in my hotel room, and hopefully uh, someone will take it and do something with it so it doesn't go to waste. That's kind of like my... Uh, that's kind of like my strategy with all these fruits, is like I end up always getting more than I need, and then I just like kind of nicely present it in my room like it's a gift or something to the hotel. Well, this, ho this hotel is pretty crappy, so they don't really deserve it, but, you yeah, know, whatever. So, let's get a little salt on there. Uh, are you going to be annoying now, too? Oh, nice. That's a nice sound. Okay, so we are salted up. Let's give it a shot. It's amazing how that works. Yeah, the salt neutralized that um, that tartness. It's bringing out a little bit more of like a berry taste to it. Still astringent though. That's not going away. Hmm. Yeah, that's all right. You know, with that salt in there, it's like a little bit more refreshing. You know, it kind of feels like you're you're getting your salts back. It's like a little more like hydrating. Um, yeah, and it packs a little bit more punch and takes away some of the negatives to it. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, you know, a simple little fruit, but it is quite tasty. And here's another cool thing. Check out that seed. That is weird looking. Looks like a little like. I don't know, like a seashell or something. Neat. It's got a nifty looking little seed. This would be, make like a good like bead or something. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Interesting fruit. You know, nothing like super crazy or anything, but it's um, new for me. It's rare. And um, yeah, pretty fun. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Hey, so at the end of this video, there's going to be a preview of next week's fruit, so stay tuned for that. But first, business! I want to give a shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. Patreon is how this channel happens. So if you want to help me out by giving a completely voluntary contribution to my channel, check out the link that's around me right now or in the description below. A uh, big shout out to the channel Smarter Every Day. They help me out a lot on Patreon, so if you haven't heard of them, check them out. I also have t-shirts for sale. These are available on my website, which are also in the link below. If you don't want to give me money, subscribe, bell, like, comment, any of that stuff. All right, thanks so much, guys. Bye.